Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and I hope you all are doing well. It's been so long since I ever did some makeover. I guess the last time I did was my mandala wall art and that was from the other apartment. Here, I didn't want any such wall painting being done. I love this space in our living area and I love to make it as cozy as possible and comfortable where I love to spend most of the time when I want to relax. As you all know, I love my plants and I wanted a stand to place a few on them. I had a few other ideas to make but I'll do one at a time and those will be shown in vlog some other time. I love fixing IKEA products, especially these items of furniture. You have everything you need and a manual for instructions to be followed. It's like a puzzle and it's such a satisfaction after you complete it. Not all love to do this, but I do. I have even fixed bigger ones than this, even before starting this YouTube channel. So you won't get to see a lot on this channel, but one such was fixing the kids double deck bed and it was satisfying to see the result. I'll share the link in the description box or above on the iCard. I don't think it's hard if you first organize everything. Those bits and bobs they provide in a packet, especially those tiny screws, nuts and bolts. And follow just as shown in the picture. I find it best when I do it all alone without help as the help I get will confuse me. And there it is. A bit of dust here and there, so give a quick wipe. Those extra plant pots that needed a space were placed on this. I love to see plants everywhere in my home rather than just a spot for only plants. It might be easy to water if kept in one place, but I need to see greenery in every nook and corner of my house. I have it in our bedrooms and living room mainly. I will be placing more all around and will show you all at that time. Sometimes I feel one of the main reasons for the confidence that I have built over the years is my ability to communicate with people even while being abroad. And the common language we speak in a foreign country is English. Not all, but most of you get inspired to speak English the way I do. Once a week at least, I get a comment asking how to speak well in English. 
and I did hear you and launched a spoken English program English 360 where we help you learn and speak English fluently. To make it even more easier or I can say affordable, we have come up with the idea to start a 5-day boot camp where each day you learn new techniques to improve this beautiful language. You overcome any barriers you have faced. We teach you the secrets to improve fluency and grammar correction. Help you with phrases that you can use every day. Accent and correct pronunciation. I'm giving a link below in the description box where you can directly buy this program. And are you excited to know the price? Let me tell you, though this program is worth Rs. 1999, we are providing this for just Rs. 199. So that's what I told, it's at an affordable rate and you get to learn a lot from this. And at the end of this program, you are certified. The link is provided in the description box and you can directly purchase this. More details are given on that page so you can go through it yourself and go ahead with the payment. Happy learning at English360. Kids are on their summer vacation right now and they were feeling really bored at home. Just to cheer them, I took them out for breakfast at IKEA which is their favorite place to have. And I had some shopping and it was at this time I bought the rag you just saw. So after breakfast, we did some shopping. These are the net curtains at IKEA. The floral one which I already have. Definitely need a makeover for my dining area which again I love that space but I'll do that later. This is a frame I bought and I'll show you towards the end what I made out of this. As I promised in my previous video, I am taking you to a gardening shop with me. This is in Azeba area in Muscat. Earlier I used to go to Seeb area to get the plants but that's quite far from where we reside. I didn't buy any plants from here this time but my ZZ plant was bought from here. And now I have come here to get soil and the perlite. So this is the soil I buy and it cost 1.5 Oman Reals. And for the perlite, that's the oxygen granules, it's 1 real for this packet. This is quite cheap but good for plants, especially money plants. I used to see these granules in plants that I had bought when we were in Riyadh. I knew only recently that we get those from the nursery at a cheaper price. Always use gloves while working with the soil. Take a bucket or a basket, big in size. Just wet the soil before placing it in the original pot that you'll be transferring along with the plant. This is because the volume of the soil reduces after wetting it. So you get the exact amount. You then mix the perlite and mix again all together. Here I have a long pot or rectangular pot and I love to use this pot for money plants or any such hanging plants because when you place this on a wall stand or rack, the plant after it grows quite well hangs and looks very pretty just like the one I already have. I will have to wait for some time but the wait is worth it.
So the pot is ready to plant. I did show how I kept these tiny plantings in this glass. Do check that video if you haven't seen it. I guess it's almost two weeks and the roots have come. I normally don't place it in the soil this soon, but I think anyway the roots have come, I'll show you quickly. If you can wait for two more weeks, then well and good. Now you can dig a hole and plant a handful together, but I like to spread it all over this pot so that it grows well all around the pot. Just adding the water it was growing in. For the time being, I'm placing it near the window so that it get good sunlight. Maybe after some months, we'll drill a stand in my living area so that I can place that on the rack and the money plant will hang. And now it's time to give a makeover to a wall in my living area. I always forget to take a before pic to show you all how it was before the makeover. Anyways, let's start. So this is a frame that I have got from IKEA. I wanted a black frame in fact, but that wasn't available or I guess it wasn't in stock here in Oman IKEA at least. I wanted that wall completed with a frame, but that can be way more expensive than I thought. So then decided I'll make two or three lines of the same on the wall. Later ended up in a different shape which you'll see at the end. This is a photo frame in fact but I needed only the frame and nothing in between because within the frame will be a mirror. As I wanted it black, I'm giving spray paint. It doesn't have to be very perfect on the inside and back side because those areas will be hidden. Only the sides and front should be completely sprayed well with black. Now in case you have black walls or any other dark color other than white walls, the white frame will look amazing. Since I have white walls, I'm using black. Or if you can get a black frame as such, then well and good. As I said, you don't have to paint it perfectly everywhere, only the side and front are to be done well. Now here's a mirror that will be placed within the frame and a double sided tape comes along. Hello to everyone watching this video. Now start fixing the mirrors. You need good patience for this, so do it while not in a hurry.
Now I started this way placing it together then got an idea to give it slanting with steps and that was a better idea I guess. So that's a beautiful makeover I gave for the space that I love. I have certain spaces in each flat which I love the most. While we were in Riyadh, it was my dining room and I tried to make it as cozy as possible. If you had been watching me since then, you'll be knowing it. Anyway, that's for today's video different from a day in my life or cooking videos I normally do. Stay tuned for more. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.